Hey, what's up guys? So before I start this video, I want to thank all of you for 100 subscribers. Yeah, I guess we've hit 100 subscribers. So 100 of you have clicked subscribe on this channel, which is pretty cool, I guess. So a lot of my videos also have a uh, quite a bit of views. For example, I think I got a thousand one or at least like about a thousand. I'm not sure I've hit that yet on the on the vehicle entering video, I think. I'm not sure. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you for that and start this video off. So last time I've been, um, we made the radiation script that um, take the radiation script will take you, it takes your health when you're in the radiation. So as you can see, the, we had a public float called health and when you're in the radiation it takes your health away all the time. So as you know, um, I used invoke repeating last time on the radiation script. I've changed it a bit up now. so. It doesn't take my health every second like uh, five, but it takes like um, like how do I say every second? It takes literally just like five health, so a big part of your health goes missing, like five HP. I change it up so every second, or well every frame, a bit of your health gets taken away, so it it has a bit of a draining effect. So I'm not gonna go over that here, but I am going to show you the script and the changes that I made to it in the radiation script. So if you want to um, change it up, you can pause the video and change the radiation script to this. Um, what I mean is, um, I'll show you in a bit. So here's the script. So I think I've changed this um, on the on trigger stay. So when you're in the trigger, radiation effect, uh, it's true. And user script dot health, user script dot health is uh, time to delta time times damage. So time to delta time times the damage that I want to take. So and cancel invoke um, we don't really need this cancel invoke I forgot to delete it but I'm gonna keep it here um, user script dot health user script dot health minus damage so yeah just it um, I haven't deleted this yet so the take damage um, void and the cancels and the cancel invoke so here before it was on trigger enter and it was the um, invoke repeating take damage but I haven't deleted these two yet so this is basically the new part of the code so let me just show you how this works real quick so I entered radiation and as you, as you can see my health sort of gets drained away and now the new thing that I've added over here is I've added the ability um, to get your um, when your health reaches zero you actually die uh, it accesses your animator and it sets a trigger for death or bool so as you can see the death animation gets played you can only move your mouse up and down but because um, you probably don't have this because I have this whole jutsu system because I'm making this like Naruto sort of game I guess and when I click the jutsus I can like I can do the jutsus but you probably don't have that so you can't uh, you can't really um, you can only be dead I guess so it would be nice to have like a respawn button or something but I'm gonna do that a different time so how I did this uh, death animation is I went to my animator. As you can see, I, I quite made a bit of things here. So any state jutsu, yeah, so these are my jutsus, I guess, which, um, which fuck up the whole death animation. But I can easily um, make them, disable them as well by the same way that I'm going to show you how you disable the movement and everything in the, in the, um, when you die. So I've made a death animation over here. I just you find a death animation, I guess. So for example, let's see death react right. So any animation really, you just drag it over here. As you can see, it's gonna appear like this. So let me just delete it. So I've done that to this, I guess, and um, I've I um, uh, I guess made a transition from any state to death animation, and I've made a. Um, I've made a, uh, uh, I guess it's a, tri it's a bool, um, which is is dead. So when is dead is true, the death animation is going to play. So I made a transition from any state to death animation, and the is dead bool in the condition is that the is dead bool is true. So I made a little has exit time, fake it, blah blah. You don't really, you can like mess around with this just to get the transition better. But yeah, I like this as it is. So yeah. Um, 
when you do that you have the whole um, is trigger you can you can see if it works you can like play the game and then manually click the is dead trigger so if the death animation plays it's working so another thing we want to do is actually when the health is zero we actually play the death animation the way we do this is you go we go to a third person character I've added a couple things here you might see health regen um, health slider uh, and the hell and the chakra slide everything but that doesn't matter we only things we only need here are the um, health and the health regen I guess you don't need health regen if you don't want it in your game but I'm gonna show you how you can regenerate your health as well so public float health so here we go in the third person character I think you have the a public animator the my am, animator I get for I think that in the unity standard assets you already get your um, uh, the my component dot uh, like get animator I think it already gets the animator but if not you can just um, make a uh, make a I guess animator um, animator or call it whatever you want and just get the component animator here so in the update, you these are the lines that we need. So if I think I've showed you this before, but I, if I haven't, so if health is bigger than or equal to a hundred, health is a hundred. So it can't go above hundred. And you can also say, but I mean, I don't really need it because you die anyways, so it doesn't matter. But um, and it doesn't show, I guess. But if you don't want your health going below zero. You can also um, put another if statement saying if health is uh, under zero, then uh, under or equals to zero, it's zero. So it can go under zero. Um, also, so here we have the um, health. So hel uh, this for, this is for the health regen. So health equals health plus time dot delta time times health regen. So this just um, makes your this just regens your health like every frame. Uh, I guess. Uh, an exact value that you state in the health regen float and um, another thing we want to do is yeah here we go so I've made another um, bool or if statement here it is if health is less or equal to zero um, then the animator dot set bool so we're setting the is dead bool to true in the animator that we've um, gotten a component of before and the game object dot get component dot mouse look is now you might be wondering what the hell is this so you have to add another thing I guess um, but I think it's already added over here because it, it has to be added um, well, let me just find it I guess so yeah it is added yeah whatever so uh, basically um, because on your character uh, you don't have to for example if you, you have to get component of something that's on a different game object but since this script is already on your game object on your player on your player you also have the mouse look component and the third person user control component you don't have to get component of it like before or access or make a variable of it. it you can just get the component so basically, just type game object dot game get component mouse look dot enabled is false. So when we move around our mouse, it doesn't um, we we can't we can't move it around because well, we can only move it up and down. But that's because I have a different script. But you can't you if you were moved if you were to have had the mouse look enabled, you can't you can like swerve around and like rotate your character while he's dead, which is not very good, I guess. And we we also have the get component third person user control. Uh, it's false, so we can't move around, jump around, etc. Uh, you can also, I mean, you don't have to. You can also make a line that says health equals zero. So, but you don't, you really don't need to, I guess, if you only want that. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, you can you can test it out. Uh, I'll just go to Kakashi. And yeah, let me just show you the health regeneration. So let's say health is 50. It starts regenerating because of that one line. And I also made a little like, um, you can call it a, I guess, health bar and the chakra bar as well down. So when you, I guess, um, when the 
the health is lower, I guess, your health gets regenerated. It's a very slow rate. I'm gonna buff it up for you guys so you can see. So 1.35, and as you can see, it's regenerating pretty fast. Same goes for the chakra. As you can see, the chakra is regenerating as well. And uh, yeah, I guess um, I guess that's it for this tutorial. If my health is, let's say, zero, um, now I have to set it minus because minus one, for example, I die. And yeah, I, I cannot move. Even though my health is generating, if it's zero, I'm dead. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Um, also, because I hit 100 subscribers, I'm not really big on... I'm not really too fond of the thing of making like a special for it. I guess I just do whatever. So I guess if you guys want me to do something special for it, I could do it. I could do a Q&A or whatever. I know a lot of people have never done Q&As, so I'm, I'm going to do that. But uh, yeah, uh, if you what if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in a future video. Bye.